as of now what i just told you i just told you about the difference between more sequential circuit and the miller sequential circuit and based on their input and the output uh, uh, control or output combination logic circuit uh, operations we decide what kind of circuit it is okay so uh, can anyone comment which kind of circuit this logic is like whatever the circuit i have made here uh, whether it is the mille model mille kind of sequential circuit or it is the mure kind of sequential circuit so can anyone tell me mille mille model sir mille model okay uh, why it is mille model why we can uh, how we are saying that this is the mille model kyunki sir iska इनपुट आउटपुट कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्किट से कनेक्ट है डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू द इनपुट ऑफ दिस आउटपुट कॉम्बिनेशन लॉजिक सर्किट सो इफ दिस इज द केस दिस काइंड ऑफ सिक्वेंसल सर्किट आर नथिंग बट दे आर दिल एक्सल सर्किट सो द ओनली डिफरेंस दैट वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई बिटवीन दीज टू काइंड ऑफ सर्किट इज like how the input is connected with the output combinational logic circuit that's it okay based on that we used to decide uh, which kind of sequential circuit it is okay now rest all other procedures are same what we did for the mure sequential circuit okay so let us try to uh, solve this circuit and try to get the state diagram for the same okay before we start analyzing this kind of circuit Uh, we need to tell us like yeah here we have a two different flip flop let us assume flip flop one and the flip flop two and if we can closely see here these flip flops uh, are nothing but they are the jk flip flop and we know that the characteristic equation of the jk flip flop is nothing but this is the q t plus one is equal to j q t bar plus K bar Q T. So this is the characteristic equation of the J K flip flop. If let us assume in place of J K, if it is uh, T flip flop, in that case I have to write the equation for T flip flop. So what kind of flip flop we have in the sequential circuit? Accordingly, we, we will write the characteristic equation of that flip flop only. Okay. So this is the uh, the first thing that that we should we have to do. Second thing, what we have to do, like excitation of the J K flip flop. All these things we have already done in the previous example, but let us try to do it again. So what I have to write? I have to write the excitation of the J K flip flop. How we decide the excitation of J K flip flop? See here, I have a two flip flop. Okay, and because it is J K flip flop, so I have a two input for the first flip flop and the two input for the second flip flop. So I need to write the expression for uh, J and K for both the flip flop. okay so let us try to write it if i want to make the expression for j1 okay then what will be the expression let us try to see j1 is nothing but if you see here j1 is the ending of this xt and the second input that is connected to this q2 complement okay so if you see here this j1 is nothing but this is x Into Q two T complement. So this is the expression for J one. Now, similarly, if you want to make the, uh, uh, if you want to write the expression for other things like K one, K one is nothing but here K one is what? Okay. Next one is the J two. Okay. What is J two? Let us try to see here. J two is here, and J two is nothing but this is. The Ending of Q one T, and this is the inverting input of the X. Okay, so what I have to write? I have to write X bar into Q one T. This is the expression for J two. Okay, and similarly, if we talk about the K two, K two is nothing but this is the complement of the J two. Okay, so J two. complement okay so this is all about the uh, excitation of all the inputs next is step that i have to follow here is the output of the sequential circuit what is the output of the sequential circuit if you see here y is the output of sequential circuit 
and this is nothing but this is the ending of one input is connected to the q1 t bar second input is connected to the q2 and the third input is connected to the x okay so if we talk about the mure model the output of the sequencer circuit was independent of x but now here the output of this sequencer circuit is the function of x so this will be written as x q2 bar and q1 bar uh no so uh, so not not q2 bar it is the q2 only right so see here what are the different outputs this is the uh, q2 into one is the q1 bar okay. so this will be the expression for the sequencer circuit okay so uh, output of the sequencer circuit so again let us let me try to repeat it again output of this circuit is the ending of three things first thing is the q2 second thing is the input x and the third thing is the q1 complement okay so these all are the uh, this all will be ended and then that will be the output of the sequencer circuit okay third thing is that we should know here is uh, let us try to see what is the output of flip flop 1 okay so the output of flip flop 1 is this one is the flip flop 1 and if you see here this is output like uh, uh, qt plus 1 if i need to try to apply here in this expression then let us see what will be the output okay so the let me write q1 t plus 1 can anyone tell me what is the q1 t plus 1 for this first flip flop what is the q t plus 1 anyone sir j1 q1 bar t plus k1 bar q1 j1 q q1 bar t c j1 is fine but in place of j1 what i need to use i need to use this one which is the x q2 bar t okay so in place of j i need to use this one in place of q1 t bar yeah q1 t bar will be same as it is and the k bar means k is k k1 is 1 so this component will become 0 okay so i need to write only this one which one will be like j1 into q1 bar okay so and the j1 again this j1 is nothing but this is the x into q2 bar okay so in total what i will get uh, the qt plus 1 will be x into q2 bar t and q1 bar okay so this will be the q1 t plus 1 if anyone has any doubt you can ask this question how i can i got it see here simply k bar is here and k is 1 so this term will become 0 now i will have one this term which is a j1 into q1 bar and j1 is nothing but here i have a x into q2 complement so x into q2 complement will be replaced with the j1 and the q1 complement is already there so the q1 uh, t plus 1 will be uh, something like x into q2 bar into q1 bar okay so this will be the expression for first flip flop output now let us talk about what is the output of the second flip flop okay so can anyone tell me what is the output of second flip flop similar approach will be applied so let me write q2 t plus 1 okay so the q2 t plus 1 so uh, here what i need to use j2 j2 into q2 bar j2 and again j2 is nothing but this is the x bar into q1 t so this is the j2 and into q2 bar q2 bar is yeah, yeah, simply i just need to write q2 bar plus if we talk about the other terms uh, k2 bar k2 bar is nothing but this is like uh, if you see uh, k2 bar is same as the j2 okay 
so i can again replace the j2 and that term will be like x bar into q1t and then uh, qt means q2t q2t means uh, this will be q2t so this is the expression for the output of the second flip flop okay now let us try to simplify it if you see here x bar and the q1t is common in both the terms okay so and and here i will get uh, q2 bar plus q2 so q2 bar plus q2 that will give you one so again if i try to simplify it i will get the simple expression and that is x bar into q1 t okay so this is the final expression for output of second flip flop okay so uh, up to this point if you have any doubt you can ask the questions otherwise we can move ahead okay so this is how we got the uh, important parameters important equations based on the circuit so these are uh, really important to understand okay now let us move ahead what we can do further okay uh, let us try to write the characteristics equation uh, characteristics table for the sequential circuit which is given here okay so let us try to put it yeah uh, here i have a three important variable like x q2t and the q1t so let me write, try to make the table like 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 
in that case q1 t plus 1 will become 1 okay so let us try to see the first let us try to see x is equal to 1 so these are the four cases second case is q2 t is equal to 0 so the q2 t is equal to 0 means these two are the cases and the third case i need to check q1 t should be 0 so q1 t is 0 in this case only so only this is the case when uh, i will get q1 t high for other cases the q1 t will become zero okay so this is how you can fill this table now let us try to check about the q2 t plus one okay for this what i need x should be zero okay and this one th should be one okay so uh, for the third one like q2 t plus one x should be zero so these are the four cases where i'm getting x equal to zero and the next one is the cases where i'm getting q1 t plus uh, q1 t is equal to one so the q1 t is equal to one i'm getting for these two cases and for these two cases i will get output high and for others it will be zero okay so this is the way how we can prepare this table if you have any doubt at this point you can ask the question okay so this is how it, it is simple right so we need to prepare this state now if you do not have any doubt now i am removing these equations because these equations are already written in the previous slide okay the next step that i have to follow here is uh, okay the next state is i need to come up with a transition table for the circuit okay the transition table means what okay let us try to see here if you can see here uh, if you can divide this table from here you are getting q1 to q1 t and the q2 t are replicated here okay so i can have the combination like 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay so these are the four cases which i am getting now let us try to see here for x is equal to 0 i need to write for q2 t plus 1 x is equal to 0 means what these are the four sections this indicates yeah so let me tell you again uh, above this line this indicate x is equal to 0 and below this line this indicate x is equal to 1 yeah similarly you can see from here okay so the bottom one indicates x is equal to 1 and the upper one indicates x is equal to 0 if it is like that let us try to write or try to fill up this table let us first fill the q2 t plus 1 okay so i need to consider these one so these one need to be considered so this will be 0 1 0 1 similarly q1 this will be this one so q1 t plus 1 will be 0 0 0 0 now let's talk about uh, x is equal to 1 so i need to consider this one for the q2 so this is nothing but this is 0 0 0 0 and the q1 t plus 1 is nothing but this one so I am getting here 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Next, if we talk about the output for I uh, for x equal to 0, outputs are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And for uh, x equal to 1, I am getting 0, 0, 1, 0. So nothing. This is whatever the table we have made, like for the characteristics table, that has been prepared in a different way that's it okay so there is no as such difference between first and the second table one very important thing that we should consider here is whatever the terms i am getting over here like at the output okay if the outputs are zero it indicates y complement okay and if the outputs are one this indicates y okay so these are y dash this is y dash and this is y and rest all other are the y dash so see if the output is equal to zero we are considering it is the y complement and if it is one then we are considering it is y okay so this is how we can fill it now once we are ready with all these things let us try to move ahead with the next step okay what is the next step accordingly let us try to see it next step is to find the state table based on this one okay to find the state table one thing is required 
what one thing is required whatever the status of the uh, input is given okay if zero is zero is given so i need to use some of the symbols to represent this one q2 t and q1 t is zero zero then i need to consider any other symbol let us consider it is a zero one let us consider it is b one zero let us consider it is c and one one let us consider it is d okay so these all are the symbol that i need to consider if i have considered something like this I need to replicate it in terms of the uh, state table. Okay, so let us try to see what state table I can prepare based based on this one. So the present state has uh, four possibilities. What those pos possibilities are A, B, C, and D. This A, B, C, D are decided based on the Q two Q one combination for the present state. If it is zero zero, I will consider it as A. If it is zero one, I will consider it as a B. If it is one zero, I will consider it as a C, and for one one, I will consider it as a D. Okay, so this is how we can define this one. Okay, now the next state I have to calculate for two different cases. Okay, what the first case is the next state and the output for x bar and the uh, x. So let us try to see how the table can be filled. X bar this indicates x is equal to zero, so I need to consider this one. Okay, in step number two, I need to check where I am getting x equal to zero. That is nothing but this is the x bar, and x is equal to one. This indicates x, and similarly for output y as well. Okay, so let us try to fill this data. If x bar is given, what it means I'm, I need to consider the uh, x is equal to zero only. Now see here. uh if you see here x is equal to 0 means i am getting the next state which is the 0 0 okay and this 0 0 which we have already given and this is nothing but this is same as a okay so this is same as a what it means i need to write a here okay let me repeat it again what i did here i have already defined this 0 0 is a 0 1 is b 1 0 is c and 1 1 is d and the next state for x is equal to 0 which indicates x complement is the 0 0 for first case and 0 0 is nothing but this is a so i have written a here next one is 1 0 1 0 is nothing but this is equivalent to c if you see here so i need to write c here 0 0 again i am getting the next one is the 0 0 this 0 0 is nothing but this is the a and the next one is the 1 0 and this is nothing but this is the c okay so ac ac will be the uh, states for the x bar now let us talk about the x to consider x i need to consider these columns okay so if you see here 0 and 1 0 and 1 this simply indicates b so i need to write b here 0 0 this indicates a again 0 0 and 0 0 so all others will be a only so this is how we need to prepare this state table next one is now similarly we have to uh, we have to use it for the output this is the case for x is equal to 0 and that indicates the x bar so in x bar for all the combinations i am getting y bar okay so the y bar will be the output y bar y bar and the y bar and if we talk about x is equal to 1 or x i am getting y bar y bar y and y bar so this is how we can prepare the state table based on this one okay so if you have any doubt at this point you can ask the questions how i come up with all these things okay if you do not have any doubt we can move ahead with the other things anyone has any doubt okay if there is no doubt i need to move now once we are ready with this state table i need to make the state diagram how the state diagram will look like see here i have a four state present states okay so uh, let us write this is the present state which is a okay because i am considering here the nile model so the output will not be given here output will be written uh, input and output both will be written in the transition only 
Okay, and this is the difference between the Millet and uh, Murray machine model. Okay, so here I need to give only the states. Okay, not the output and the input. Okay, so an output and input are given in the transition. Okay, so let us assume this is the first A. Second state, let us assume it is the B. Third state is C, and the fourth state is D. So these all are the states which we have present state which we have. Now let us talk about the other things. If the present state is A, so the next state is going to become the A itself if x bar is there. Okay. So what does it mean? It means that huh, this output is nothing but this is the same one. The next state is A and the input is x bar and the output we are getting at this state is the y bar. So this is the first case. Let me repeat it again what I did. The present state was A. Next stage I am getting is A. Okay, so the A to A where the input was x bar. So x bar here I have given here and the output for this case was y bar. So here I have given the output. So this is how we can write this transition. Okay, now let us talk about the other cases. If we talk about the other cases, input is A. Yeah, so let's talk about this. Input is A, the output is B, input is A, output is B, means it is changing from A to B. And input was X and the output was Y bar here. So it was something like this. So this is how we can make this transition. Next step, uh, let us try to check other cases. What is the other case if the present state is B? Okay. If present state is B, for X bar, I am getting C. So from B to C, I will move and the input will be X bar. And in that case, I am getting output, which is the Y bar. And other, other one is B to A. This will shift from B to A. For the case, yeah, so it will again shift from B to A for input X and the output Y bar. Okay, so this is how the we can write the input and output. Now let us talk about the third case. If we talk about the third case, uh, in the third case. The present is, is uh, input is C. Okay, present it input is C. The next uh, present state is C. The next state is A. So C to A, it will shift from C to A for the input X bar, and at the same time I am getting output Y bar. Okay, and the next one is from C to A again. So we are getting uh, two kind of states. So C, C to A and the C to A. Okay. So uh, I am getting two kind of output um, for both the cases, like it will be X and yeah. So here it is X and again, I'm getting Y here, so X and Y. Okay, so this is the states. Now, the next one is the D, okay? If I'm considering the D, so the D will be made something like this. Present state is D. The next state is okay, and the next one is D to A. I am getting D to A for input is X and the output is Y bar. So this is how I can make the state diagram for the given problem, okay? So this is how we can uh, characterize the, uh, the sequential circuit which is given in terms of Mille model, okay? Okay. Perfect. So here uh, I'm just giving two problems uh, to solve for the sequential circuits. 
so we didn't we need to identify um whether they are mire uh, more model or milli model so and accordingly you need to solve it okay so